what's going on people welcome back to another video today i wanted to talk about mediocrity and how mediocrity is so inexcusable these days and i think a lot of people in this generation settle for mediocrity and don't ever try to achieve uh, beyond what is expected of them but what is mediocrity it is an infamous quality trait, a compromised one. It is just about being merely another statistic. It's about being moderate, satisfactory, adequate, but not different. It's about being medium. So it's not about being advanced or even beginner, but it's just about settling for the 50th percentile, the literal average, the mean. It is a rut, and those stuck in it find it difficult to navigate through that rut. It's a trite. It's banal. It's just so common, and there's nothing exciting or euphoric about being mediocre. Mediocrity gives the feeling of being lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, and... At the end of it all, mediocrity is just inexcusable, like I said. And, you know, this type of mentality, when you have this, you're basically telling yourself that the minimum requirements is good enough. It's good enough for you, and you don't need to do extra credit work. There is no need to do extra credit work because you've set your standards so low that you don't need to go beyond. Because why would you? It doesn't pay off according to you. And when this happens, well, you can guess it. Complacency occurs. Laziness becomes habitual. The drive to become better dies. You don't take that leap of faith forward, and then what happens? You don't want to become uncomfortable. You want to stay in that comfort zone. You want to stay in that bubble. You want to stay the same, right? That's what mediocrity is to me. And as I said, a lot of people in this generation, they have this mentality because they are already distracted by these different types of pleasures and and dopamine rushes and stuff like that you know listening to music watching movies uh doing drugs having sex all these things and when you have all these distractions you're just simply going to stay the same you're not going to worry about yourself you're going to worry about other things so I think the first thing to get out of this mindset is to basically have that belief that you are not limited by any of these things. You are unlimited. You have to voluntarily put yourself through suffering because I feel like that's where most people fail is that they don't want to confront the feeling of suffering and pain. And ironic or unironically and coincidentally this is where most mental spiritual and physical growth happens it's when you suffer and most people the average person the mediocre person doesn't want to go through that so you have to do what's not expected of you you have to go beyond the norm because you have to have the belief you have to have the standard within yourself that there is more to you than what society expects of you. And this involves a lot of belief in yourself. And so with that being said, I just have one final mes message for you. We were not born on this earth to be average. We did not live all of our lives up to this point only to settle for less Always strive for more in every single aspect of your life because it is worth it. You should have high standards for yourself because you are worthy of those high standards. Whether you feel like you believe in that or not, you are always 
worthy of those standards as long as you're alive. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was like my little message for y'all. And um, this is going to be the start of a, of a series in which I'll be showing training footage followed by some random, you know, self-improvement, motivation uh, type of topics. And if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I hope y'all have a good one. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.